Hey guys, Angel Medina here. On today's video, I'm gonna be going over some key factors of why recently with everything that's been happening, you're going to hear a lot of things about why you should buy now and why you should think about selling your home. Um, a lot of the things that I wanna go over today really quick are just some things that you can be uh, aware of when you start to hear them on the news or you start to hear them on the internet or your family or friends. I'm just going to go over some key factors on some of the things that you're going to hear and some of the things that you need to know to make the best decision for you and your family when you're thinking about with this market, whether you're looking to buy or sell. So on this channel, what I do is I go over some key factors on what's going on with the market, some key factors on what you should know and the do's and don'ts when buying a home, selling a home, or if it has to do with even credit in order to get you qualified to purchase a home. So if you're new here, I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. And also if you could hit the bell, what that does is it allows you to get updated every time that I get new videos um, uploaded. You'll get an email and you'll get an alert letting you know I have a new video. So I'm going to start uh, you know, uploading videos every Wednesday and every Friday and Saturday at 6 p.m. So again, if you're new here, I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. Angel Medina, thank you so much for watching this video. Your lifelong mortgage advisor. Thank you. Okay, so on today's video, you're you're going to be hearing a lot of things about why you know is a good time for you to buy. Um, you know, and you're also going to be hearing on the different end of why is it the best time for you to sell and i want to go over some key factors that when you're hearing this and let's say that you currently don't own a home right now and you're hearing all these things about why is a good time to buy and then let's say that you already do own a home and why is a good time to now sell your home so i'm going to first go over in this section of all the people who right now currently don't own a home and you're renting but you're currently thinking about well we should possibly look into getting a you know a new home um, our rent is possibly going to be going up some of the things that i want you to consider is right now it's all based upon of obviously your situation so what I want to go over are what are some of the things that you should think about before you even start to really consider buying a home. So again, this is for somebody that currently does not own right now. So the first thing I want to go over is if you're thinking about buying a home, you want to make sure to pull your credit. Now, when I say pull your credit, you could get your credit with, uh, you know, Credit Karma. You can get it with uh, all these sites like Experian, TransUnion, and they're going to give you all the things about your credit. Now, don't get me wrong, those aren't bad, but those aren't gonna give you really the big picture of what a financial institution could give you because at the end of the day, when you pull your credit, you're going to have to pull it through a lender in order to qualify for a loan, unless you're planning on paying all cash. So if you are thinking about um, buying a home and you're hearing all the, all the talk around the cooler talk, you're hearing it on the internet, uh, you're hearing it from all these realtors, um, I don't wanna say that um, I disagree with some of the people saying this, what I will say is I never say now is a time to do to buy a home. Now is a time to sell a home. I would say that if you're thinking about it, um, take it step by step. So the first step, if you're trying to, um, you're thinking about buying a home is to take a look at your credit with a lender. So if you are interested, I can take a look at your credit and you wanna make sure that your credit is up to par, meaning there's nothing wrong on your credit. And if there is, it's not the end of the world. You can work towards getting it fixed. So the first step I would say, if you're talking about, you know, pillow talk, you and your wife or your husband, you're talking about possibly buying a home, you want to first have a professional, a lender, somebody that you trust pull your credit. 
You want someone to go over your credit, make sure to know what your score is, and you wanna make sure if there's anything wrong on your credit that you know about. So that's the first step. The second step is finding out what your current situation is. So if you already know that you have a lot of debt and the rent that you're paying right now is enough debt to where if you were to take on more, you would not be comfortable. So in that situation, I would say, okay, so you first took a look at your debt, then you wanna take a look together or whether you're by yourself, you wanna take a look at your income and all the bills that you have. Now at that point, if you have, uh, let's say two, three, four credit cards, the best suggestion I would say is first start off with the ones with the highest interest rate and every month pay more towards those credit cards. So the second step is if you are thinking about buying and you wanna to work towards getting there, you want to consider looking at all your debt and eliminating some of the debt that's going to give you a higher monthly payment. So when you do decide to buy, you can feel comfortable about buying without having being overwhelmed with debt. Now, the, the third thing, and I wouldn't say that it exactly goes in this order because the third thing that I would say is, how much cash do you actually have to put down? So that's an, another reason why it's so important that you speak to a professional and you find out, well, let's first find out what our credit is, let's first find out our debt, and then also um, lastly is, how much do we actually have to put down? Now, if you just uh, you know think, oh wow, I have to have 20,000, you don't wanna assume that you have to have 20,000 because it could end up that you could end up uh, having to come in with a lot less. The reason I say that is because if you have a lender that makes an offer, especially in this day and age, this is the great thing about right now if you're watching this video, if you have a good realtor that you know is really good at negotiating with the sellers, and I have realtors that I can refer you to, then what you wanna do is you want to also understand that they can also make an offer, but also ask for the seller to create you part of any of the closing costs. So again, um, let's say that you're assuming that you have to come in with 10, 20, uh, 25,000. There are times where if you make an offer and that seller pays for your closing costs, you may end up coming up with close to very little, I would say, if not uh, nothing, depending upon how much altogether it would cost. So again, don't assume that you're gonna have to come up with a large amount of money. And I would say that if you are thinking about buying, take the necessary steps. A lot of people, when they're thinking about buying, they actually go the complete opposite. They go online and they start looking at houses, they put in their email address and their phone number, and then what happens is they start getting bombarded with a bunch of calls. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna first speak to a professional. I would say first speak to a lender, find out what your credit looks like, find out what your overall debt looks like, and then also take in consideration, once you get all that together, how much you have to come in with, and you might be pleasantly surprised. So again, uh, I made this video because I wanna let you know that you guys are gonna be hearing a lot about the market. Um, I think the market is doing great right now. I think that uh, if you are thinking about buying and you are in the position to buy, then definitely um, I would act quickly because a lot of people, what they're doing is they're retreating. They're saying, no, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait till the best time. So when people are actually retreating, they're pulling back, um, that's where you wanna pull forward. You wanna go for it because there's gonna be less competition, there's gonna be less um, you know, of the sellers negotiating because they're gonna be happy that you're making an offer on their house. Now don't get too comfortable though because uh, you have to act quickly. So that's my best advice to you right now with all the talk that you're gonna hear is act very quickly uh, because it could be gone um, very shortly. 
So what I mean by that is we could in two, three weeks um, or a month, month and a half, uh, let's say you get busy, life happens, we could end up having the rates go up. Um, house prices could actually spike up again, then go back down. So I would say never gamble with the market. Um, as you start to hear all these things on the radio, all these things on the commercials, I would say um, always understand that it's not about when is the right time for the market for you to either buy or sell. It's when is the right time for you. So if you are considering it, take the first step and speak to a professional. That's the best advice I can give you. Make sure your credit is up to par. Make sure your debt is in order. If there's some things that you can and want to pay off that have a large payment, you want to get advice from a professional. And then also, yes, you are going to have to most, uh, most of the time come in with a down payment. So be prepared for that as well. Okay, so again, um, I hope you do, uh, you know, uh, understand as far as when you start to hear all this talk on the media, on from these realtors, um, from anybody, that uh, it's never the right time for you know what you know the market is. It's always the right time for what is right for you and your family. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be making another video and that's going to be more towards the seller side. And so I just wanted to start off with this video first going over the buyer side. So if you do, uh, you know, if you're new here, I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please, uh, you know, I would ask that you please hit the like button, uh, the thumbs up. And then also, if you notice, there's a bell right next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell. And what that's going to do is notify you anytime I upload a new video. The reason that's important is because when I upload a new video, let's say outside of the times I normally do, it's because there's a market update and there's some things that um, you really want to consider if you're thinking about buying, selling, or refinancing. Thank you very much. Angel Medina, your lifelong mortgage advisor.